Welcome back to World Drum Club, everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome Eric Perez to the channel. I'll tell you about how you can find him right after this lesson that he's going to give all of you on the most basic tune bow. Thanks for having me, Kalani. Really do appreciate it. And for those that don't know me, my name is Eric from A Percussion Life. And Kalani wanted me to share with you the easiest tune bow that you can try. Yes, the easiest tune bow that you can try. Now for those that want some little behind information on this tumba, it's really referenced in the early 40s, 50s, but after you hear it, you're gonna be able to understand and see that you could use this on basically a lot of different types of grooves, uh, R&Bs, funks, contemporary music. It's very easy, very simple, and uh, kind of helps you develop when you start to get into more advanced doom bow. So yeah, when you hear it, it's gonna help you out. Really hope you enjoy it. But yeah, let's get into the easiest doom bow that you can try. Easy. You got to love it. It's so easy. Trust me. Once you start getting into these little movements, yeah, you'll you'll end up figuring it out. But yeah, let me break this down. So I start this pattern with a bass tone with my non-dominant hand. Now it's very important that when you do that bass tone, you just leave it flat on the drum. Try not to lead with your wrist. You don't want to injure yourself. Just try to leave it flat. Focus on the palm itself, but leave your hand flat on the drum. So we're going to do one of those with our non-dominant hand. Now, after doing that, you're going to leave your non-dominant hand on the drum, but with your dominant hand, you're going to do a close slap. I'm pretty sure if you're a follower of this channel, you have seen Kalani talk about the close slap. And it's very simple, but it takes time to develop. Trust me, don't feel all frustrated if you don't get it at first. It takes time to develop. Everything takes time, everything. So yes, we're going to leave our non-dominant hand on the drum and then do one close slap with our dominant hand on the drum. After doing that close slap, what you're going to do is you're going to focus back to your non-dominant hand. And what you want to do is a finger movement. So you want to lift up your hands and then lead with your fingers and going to tap the drum. Very easy, it's not supposed to be so noticeable. It's not supposed to make an announcement. It's really referenced as a ghost note, even though I've never seen a ghost in my life. But it's meant to lead to the next part, which is actually going to be two opens with your dominant hand on the drum. So just to do just that second part, it's going to be finger two open. So it's gonna sound like this. And that's basically it. Let's put it all together and see how it all sounds. Simple, super simple. You got to love it. And if you want to change things up, rather than doing that little finger tap, just replace that with another bass. And it completely changes the feel of the easiest tumbao you can try. It's very simple. So let's try it out with just all basses. It's gonna sound like this.
super crazy. Just completely changes by just continuing doing those bases. Now let's go back and forth. All bases and then doing bass finger. Let's hear that. Now, let's just count it so we could kind of get an idea on how this all plays out. One, two, three, four. Yeah, super, super easy. And I do hope that you try it out. Try down some funks, try down some R&B, some contemporary music, some rock, anything. It really helps just add a little pizzazz to any groove. You gotta love it. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to World Drum Club. If this is your first time here. Really do hope you enjoy it. And again, thanks Kalani for having me on your channel. You gotta love it. I'm just excited. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Eric. That was awesome. You guys, I hope you enjoyed that. You can see Eric's a talented player and a great teacher. He's a great guy. Please go support his channel at A Percussion Life. Check out what he's doing and support him any way you can. You can support World Drum Club, of course, by going to patreon.com slash Kalani. Also, you know, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and hit that bell so you don't miss any new videos. I'm Kalani Das. This is World Drum Club. We'll see you all in a future lesson.